And this is uh, shot number three. Once again, it's the 50 cal BMG electric blank. It's the WC860 powder, 150 grains, 10 gram. As you can see, this is a new piece of brass. No cracking, no marks, no issues. So we'll go ahead and we'll load this one in our test chamber again, right over here. We're gonna load this up and we're gonna do a test firing. We got 100 milliliters of water in here again, which is about 1400 grains. And once again, just like before, go ahead and pull the uh, squib through your breech bolt, making sure that you go ahead and bottom out your base of your shell into the bolt face head. And then you will physically insert the brass and bolt into the chamber and screw your breech bolt onto the chamber, ensuring you have a proper solid lock up in there. And you wanna make sure you're all the way screwed down and tight because if you're not seated properly, that could lead to some damage because you're not in the chamber properly. Like I said, we'll screw this all the way in. And now we're seated. As you can see, there's basically no gap between the breech bolt and the cannon. So we're fully seated. Go ahead, making sure it's tight. We're gonna prime into our lines. If you wanna watch that, basically what we do is we unshunt the thread leads and go ahead and separate the wires a little bit to give us some room. I'll grab my ground legs, which are over here, and I'm going to tie into these. If you want, you can physically use some electrical tape or duct tape to cover the leads so they don't touch. What I find really easy to do, just go ahead and make a little knot in it, pull it, and that way it keeps them at the opposite ends. Just gonna go ahead and drop this down behind our, our uh, test barrel table. And we'll walk this way and we'll actually leave the video on the whole time so you can hear the shot this time. We'll go over here to our physical other area. Put my ears on. I'm going to go ahead and prime into our blasting machine. This is a EBM 15. It is an electric blasting machine with continuity and built-in continuity light and firing light. So once I hook into these lines here, we'll get a red light telling us that we have a good circuit. So you can see I'm going to prime into the post here. Okay, primed in. As you can see, I have a solid green light. I'm making an announcement real quick that we're doing a firing. So, <clears throat> test firing in 15 seconds. Test firing in 15 seconds. Test firing! Test firing! Charge it. Fire in the hole! Fire in the hole! Fire in the hole! Okay. You went ahead and heard that shot go off. We'll go down there, back to our test chamber. And as you can see here, this is what we were shooting. This is our standoff distance, about two feet. We we're shooting at wood. This is a two by 12. And we cleanly went through and shredded the wood completely into our test stop here, so we had we had our, our board here, this is what we're aiming at, and you can see we completely devastated the piece of wood from that shot. And let's go ahead and take a look at our, our shell now. Go ahead and screw the breech off. And like last time too, we still get a little bit of smoke coming out, so there's a freshly spent round. You heard it fire. And we'll go ahead and we'll knock our, our round out. And here's the round. It's got a little bit of water on it, as you can see. That's number three, shot three. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this round real quick so you can see it so it's not deceiving from the actual water. So we'll go ahead and wipe that down. And now you can see, once again, shell number three from that same exact lot. There is no bulging, there is no cracking. So we have a good shot. And look at the neck here. You can see from where the crimp is. That's where the most amount of damage is, is from the actual uh, neck of the round. I'm sorry, uh, from where the crimp folded it in. And you can see there's very, very little there. So as far as the actual main body and the rim, there is no damage that would show high pressure, excess pressure, or any type of cracking or damage. So I'm still, like I said, concerned that your chamber spec is a little out. 
There's a little mark right here, but that's just a piece of dust. So the biggest thing I see, I see one little tiny nick right there where my thumb's at, but that's actually not even a, a dent or a crack. That's just that's that's just that's just a, a little little nick in the case. That's actually from the brass manufacturer. That's not due to any type of high pressure or any issue. So we got two more shots to do to uh, to run through the lock testing, and we'll do our other shot number four and five, and we'll just show you before and afters for those ones.